James Mullen is James the Wine Guy, a fantastic bottle coming from Afton Mountain. Now this is Petit Verdot, it is absolutely sterling, so stay tuned for this show. So I've tasted a lot of Petit Verdot, and uh, you know, I've not actually been happy with a lot of them, only because I think they're just so over the top in terms of herbaceousness, and there's no fruit characteristic. It's actually a non-balanced wine that I taste often, but this is not, it is really the opposite. It's what I seek and hope and idealize a lot of, and I'm not talking about typicity, I'm talking about uh, that really great characterization of Petit Verdot, what Petit Verdot can be. And I, I don't like to just, you know, say segment and say this is Petit Verdot uh, and it should taste like this from every location on the planet. Actually, it should have characteristics from, you know, Monticello in Virginia. That's where this bottle is coming from. So here's what we have. Afton Mountain uh, Vineyard Monticello 2012 Vintage Petit Verdot. This is reserved. Now, this is a 13% ABV wine and I think that's the amazing part about Virginia is you get these great ABVs. Now, why that's important is I'm getting a lot of characterization that if this were at 14, 14 and a half, I'm gonna get, um, I think, a different snapshot of the characterization, both the scent and flavor profiles, that I you know, wouldn't get at this uh, ABV level, which I think is really an amazing experience. Back label for your inspection here. Um, I think this is a really tremendous uh, area, Monticello. I've been to Monticello. I've been to uh, this region in Virginia. I haven't uh, visited this particular producer, but someday I will. I do love uh, the website, AftonMountainVineyards.com. It says, uh, grapes don't grow in ugly places. And that's actually really true. I found that to be the case on every single visit of every wine country I've been to. So when I go into my wine country, uh, walkabouts uh, anywhere on the planet, I've really been, you know, actually stunned and delighted because I'm not visiting a shipyard. I'm not visiting industrial zones. I've tasted a number of Petit Verdot coming from, say, California and other places, Australia included. And I think for me, you don't really get those ABVs in the 13 range. They're definitely in the 14, 14 and a half range. The first points for 93 points out of 100 points. So on this, I'm getting a second characterization of um, Tay Berry Acai, Blackberry, Hint of Chocolate, Mint, bay leaf and a bit of cedar as well gorgeous very ideal weight and texture to this wine and um you can definitely enjoy this on its own but i think food is going to go nicely with this wine i'd say beef is really nice for this as well as salmon uh roasted pork there's a lot of things you can do with this wine and it's gonna you know give that nice handshake of that acidity the bright acidity on this wine to the protein so on this wine i'm getting notes of uh, mountain strawberry and it's going on to boysenberry notes and blackberry notes which I think is really gorgeous. Additional notes of hoisin, a bit of uh, what I would term uh, clove, a bit of pepper, cinnamon and violets. Fantastic wine. Again 93 points out of 100 points. Stay tuned for more reviews to come. It's been a fantastic journey. So 2016 I would say has probably been my most amazing, most uh, eclectic year of tasting great wines from every point on the planet. So stay with me. More to come. Questions and comments, please list them down below. The website on this producer is down below. And additionally, if you give a like, I'd really appreciate that very much. Here is the subscribe button. If you haven't hit that button already, please do so. And I appreciate your support. So stay tuned for more reviews to come. And we can stay connected on a variety of social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. Stay tuned for more. Sun thing.